um, so yeah, I don't know. I, I, I was, uh, I was watching Jim Sterling today and yeah. he did that, uh, he did a video and it was literally released. Like, I want to say, uh, maybe 19 minutes before I watched it mm. where, um, he it's was talking Monday about Jim censorship. Yeah. The Monday Jim Inquisition. He's talking about, uh, our loot box or like banning loot boxes censorship. And the answer is no. Of course it isn't, you fucking knob. It's the dumbest fucking argument. I I just could not wrap my head around it. Yeah. Like I said, the guy who made that argument is a fucking asshole. Because it's no, that's that's not a good argument. I mean that's it's not, literally it's not, not an argument. It's it's a moot point. It's I get that you can you can sell art. Art can be monetary. Um but the, that's not an argument of is it okay? You're not censoring art. You're no, not you're, no, you're, you're regulating not. gambling. You're regulating a transaction. Essentially. It's it's crazy. Yeah, I, I couldn't yeah, I just I can't really like, On top of that, like, you could use the same argument for pornography and l any kind of pornography. There could be, uh, like, the what is the the Mambla, Man Boy Love Association kind? Oh, well, this is art. You're restricting our art. You're censoring our art. No, you're a fucking piece of shit. We're not censoring your art. We're keeping you from fucking kids. Yeah. Like, and I don't want to make the. A, a comparison like that between loot boxes and like child pornography but if you you're literally saying anything is art and therefore you can't regulate it no you can regulate art too uh -huh. but this is not this is not the case you can make your loot boxes as artistic as you want and put whatever artistic things in them you want but don't go fucking peddling them to children yeah i mean and peddling them to like uh anybody like one of the like most that, without some fucking regulation. One of the most ridiculous um, arguments that he made was that he he basically compared them to cliffhangers because somebody mentioned oh. that they're they're basically there to be psychologically manipulative. So the cliffhangers at the end of The Walking Dead are going to censor that too. What That's what, how, what the fuck are you talking about? How are you comparing? How are you it's comparing the ending of a narrative to? financial manipulation financially yeah. psychological manipulation okay what is wrong with you are you like, seriously that fucking retarded i'm sorry don't stupid i think the way the specifically the walking dead strings along its audience and it did it for however many seasons that show has fucking gone on that that has been too long since the second season yeah in my opinion um, um, I lost interest I, after the I first season. It, yeah, I find it shitty. However, it's not the same as fucking the way games like um, Overwatch push you to, oh, we got these seasonal items. You better uh, get all the loot boxes you can. So either you have to play the game for 900 hours or you pay money. Yeah, right. It, it's it's, it's, it's mind-boggling to me, man, that, that somebody would sit there and, and make that argument, you know, and it was just like, like, really? Like, that's yeah. the argument, that that's the hill you're going to die on. Of all the hills to die on, you're going to compare it to a narrative. Yeah. Like, I, I, I just, I don't get it. I don't know, though, man. I'm, I'm wanting loot boxes, personally, to go away, you know? Because a lot of them have gotten to a point where they're definitely, you know, they're definitely super manipulative. And I, I'm just tired of seeing them. Like, you know it's bad when Humble Bundle is giving away Overwatch loot boxes as part of, like, a, a charity thing. Oh, that's not even the worst. There's fire ammo over here, by the way. Um, fucking oh, that's cool. I'll go packages grab some. of cookies and shit are... Like, if you buy, I, I can't remember the brand, but you buy their cookies, you get a, a loot box in Overwatch. <laughs> I was like, are you, are you fucking kidding me? It's like when Mountain Dew and 
Pepsi and all that. Oh shit, I shot uh, Lewis. It's like when, when they get together and team up for Call of Duty. And, yeah, like get double experience and, uh, points. Ubisoft. You get uh, in-game exclusive in-game items. So you have to buy bags of pizza rolls. Yeah. And use their codes. Some of the, some of, I think one of them, um, you didn't necessarily get the item. So you would have to buy multiple bags of fucking Tostitos to use the codes to maybe get the item. Yeah, so it's all a loot box. You're you're buying you're buying a chance to win a loot box. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, it it wasn't a loot box you won, but it was like they turned uh, pizza rolls into loot boxes. And you know now we've got those in real life loot boxes that we sell at our own store. Yep, twenty dollars. Most of those tell you what's in them. So I kind of get that. Or do you mean the uh, the the little teeny ones that you like? You dig out the buried treasure. Uh, no, actually, I was going for the ones that that that, that you know, like they're twenty dollars, and you get like, oh, you get, here's a PlayStation themed loot box. Here are things yeah. you could get. You might get a pair of socks. You might get a mug. You might get this. You might get that. It's like, oh, if okay. if it was yeah, if it was a might thing, that would be dumb. But I believe. And I, I could be wrong on most of them, but most or, or some of them, but most of those, that's what you get in them. Like there's a Fallout themed one that I uh, I looked at uh, uh, the other day, and there's different ones, and they tell you what's inside of them. It's like a it, really what it is is like Loot Crate uh, every month, except yeah. Loot Crate doesn't announce what's going to be in it until uh, like right before it comes out. Yeah. So if you're subscribed to Loot Crate, it's just, you know, you know, what are you going to get this week or month? Um, and then you find out right beforehand that, oh, hey, I got a Ghostbusters labeled door uh, do not enter sign. Yeah, that's that's great. It's fantastic. Exactly what I wanted. Thank you, guys. Yeah. The fucking last crate I got. I actually kind of liked Loot Crate. I don't I don't uh, you know, I wouldn't bash them, but um, too much. But that one, that that legitimately disappointed me to the point where I was like, I don't need all this bullshit. I mean, I thought about getting Loot Crate for a while. And if this nullifies us from ever, you know, getting sponsorships from them, fine, whatever. <laughs> um, I, I decided after a little bit of research that it would just literally be trash that I'd get in a box every month that they would say, here, you throw this away. Um because I mean, some of the stuff that as you get, it's like, oh, this is kind of okay. I I don't know. Yeah, no, it's value wise, and I don't know what they've done lately. Um, it was definitely hit or miss when I was uh, I was subscribed to it. Right. Some months I was like legitimately like, hey, this is all pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, other times it was like I don't get why anyone would keep this shit. I'm of a mindset like, where if I'm going to spend 20 bucks on something to like get a chance to get something, I'm just going to take the 20 bucks and get that something. Yeah. Well, I tried to crown her. It did work. It didn't work. <laughs> she did though. She did. But uh, yeah, it's, I, I, I'd rather just take that 20 bucks and, and actually buy the thing I want rather than the chance to get the thing I want. For sure. Yeah. And the thing is, like, I guess that's where, you know, at least it's it's not quite like, you know, Overwatch where, oh, I, I'm getting loot boxes because I want to get this exclusive um, Halloween skin. Yeah. If they don't. That's not going to be available in, you know, a couple days. Like, my thing um, is, you know, don't at least don't turn my loot crate. You know, you're getting you're getting stuff. You, right. There's a chance to get the mega crate, but that's more like a contest. Yeah. Rather than, uh, uh like, I thought I thought oh, I just shit. had, um, because I do play the game. But I thought I just had is, don't turn my AAA titles into gotcha games like, uh, like Fire Emblem Heroes or something. Like, you know, you sit there, you buy orbs, and you use those orbs for a chance to to get a, a hero that you want. Yeah. And it's all random chance. It's all gambling. It's straight up gambling. There is no yeah. uh, it's art or anything. No stupid fuck. It's gambling. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's a mobile game for sure, and I don't have high expectations of it, but it can be a good game, and you can definitely play it for free. Yeah, but 
it, it, it is one of those games. It's a loot crate simulator. It's a loot simulator. <laughs> you know, loot box yeah. simulator, rather. It's like, that's exactly what it is. I'm buying a premium currency to gamble to get a hero that I'd like. A yeah. hero that I'd want. And so, you know, that's exactly what all of this is. It is it's totally loot. Yeah, that's exactly what, a, like a fucking random, it's a random chance box. Now, if I, if Fire Emblem Heroes wasn't free, there would be a problem. But yeah. it's free to start, it's free to play. It really I mean, is. I, I, I wouldn't say there's not a problem, because it's totally, it, 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 the first hit's free. It's not, never been true for drugs, but right. for this kind of thing, it's totally exists. That's the way they sell it. It's more acceptable than yeah. me paying forty to sixty dollars up front, and then, you know, oh, give I us will, more I money. Definitely agree with that. Yeah, um, I for a chance like, with microtransactions. Yeah. Oh, I just found out that you can shoot those cars with the the mounted machine gun, uh -huh. and totally move them. <laughs> But yeah, no, I, I just I don't know. I real hate, life. yeah, just like real that's life. That's why. That's why. I mean, I microtransactions are bullshit too that we've been dealing with for years. But I, I will say a microtransaction in a, uh, uh, a sixty dollar game I can forgive more than a fucking loot crate. Yeah, I mean, sort of. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm sort of down with that. I still only, don't only like just, it. It's still shitty. I don't like it. It's a fucking $60 game. Yeah. You don't also need to force this in, especially when, like, uh, it, it, Jim Sterling brought it up in this video, and we've talked about it before, too. Stuff like fucking um, the last uh, Battlefront and um, the Assassin's last Assassin's Creed Odyssey, where you purposefully make your game more grindy. So, Oh, shit. You make your game more grindy so that you get people to buy these oh, no. fucking uh where the hell are you exp things i got pulled like way far away i'm just done oh come on there's a hole in the wall yeah i know and i'm also i've also got smacked by a smoker that i okay. shot in the face three times with fire rounds um two times i missed once but um yeah, no, I'm going to die. No, 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 it was nice knowing you guys. They were right next. <laughs> so, the AI in this game is really fucking dumb. They're right next to me. um, Like, about to get me up. And you went down. They turned around and started running for you, even though it was very obvious you were going to die. Yeah. <laughs> and you were much closer. <laughs> yes. Both of them turned around and went back for you. If one of them had gone back for me, fine. Yeah. We get that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. So, uh, I did want to mention, uh, like, we never, we didn't do, like, a, a best of the year or anything like that, really. Um, but I was I, talking in a uh, chat with a few of my friends um, about what you know what we thought the best game of the year was and uh you know some of the others and i wanted to say my top like the top games for me this year not necessarily in specific order but um definitely spider-man um smash brothers yeah red dead 2 right and then um hey lewis rescued me he did a good uh, thing god of war and god of war's Easily my favorite game of the year. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it was fucking phenomenal. That game, just from beginning to end, everything about it, I absolutely loved. Mm -hmm. The combat is great. The, it's difficult in it, but it's not. It doesn't feel unfair for most of it. Um, I don't know. It, it, that game was just fucking great. Yeah, I mean, Smash I'm down Brothers. for that. Smash Brothers is fucking self-explanatory. It's it's Smash Brothers, it, and it it really is the the best game in the series so far. Like, yeah, they kind of took aspects from all of the games, and I mean, makes sense. It's the ultimate one. It's got, it's uh, you know, every character, everything's brought back. 
and it's fucking phenomenal. Yeah, no, I mean, mechanically, it, it takes a lot of cues from Melee. It takes all the good parts of Melee, and what the hell? <laughs> Why are you off the side of the bridge, Luke? I'm not off the side of the bridge. I'm heading down the bridge. Oh. I don't know where you guys were. I mean, I died, and Lewis went back and saved me. Oh. Um, yeah, no, uh, it, it's definitely pretty fucking great, and uh, mm-hmm. I'm down. I'm down completely, all in for Smash Bros. Um, I really, from what I hear, from what I understand, and I've not had the experience yet, um, they need to fix their online infrastructure, man. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me that it's... I'm here. I've heard overly bad things about it. Yeah. Um, Nintendo essentially, I mean, they still use fucking friend codes. Yeah. If that doesn't tell you enough of how bad their online stuff is, it's Nintendo being Nintendo. It's like they get nine out of 10 things right, but that 10th thing that they get wrong, they fucking get wrong. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's, it's like 10 years behind everybody else. Maybe not 10 years, but it's years behind everybody else. Yeah. I I don't know that I have any games of the year for this year, because most of the games that I've played this year have come out in other years. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I can't say that, oh, this game is amazing for this year, because it came out in, like, 2012 or 2016, 2017, right? Um. I mean, Smash is probably going to be my my top game as well, because uh, I mean, it's, I loved it. Like God, I cannot What's sing that? the praises of Smash enough. Um, what is that uh, indie um, roguelike? The, uh, the did, hack and slash one. Oh, played the Dark Dead Cells. Dead Dark Cells came Cells? out in 2017. Oh, I thought Dead Cells was this year. No, Dead Cells was last year. Oh. It came out this year for Switch, which is why no, I can't. Fuck it. That counts. <laughs> which, which is why I can't say, oh yeah, because I was playing that game long before it came out on Switch, uh, yeah. because I bought the uh, alpha release on PC, and I don't regret buying it. No. Um, I mean the game has I been fantastic, and they really have just dropped so much content and updates and fixes and all that and the game is still not perfect by any means but it's it is really really good and i've i've played a fair amount of it um Mm -hmm. so smash is like the only new game this year that i can think of off the top of my head right now that i've thoroughly enjoyed from 2018 um yeah Uh, yeah, I played. I'm. That's one thing that go I, away, I you shitty. God damn it! PS4 stuff this year just surprised the hell out of me. How did Lewis kill that jockey when I unloaded into it with my sniper rifle? That's not right. He said something mean to it and it died. Oh. Uh, just fucking. Yeah, I'm fucking down. <laughs> Again. There's a charger in here. I went to heal. Well, we're not having a good time this time around. No. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, Dead Cells was released this year for Switch, but so was Diablo 3. So, and I think there was another indie game that came out this year, but I, I don't remember. There's I mean, been a lot. I've yeah, no, there's been, there's been several indie games that have come out this year that have all been really good. Um, I can't comment on some of them, uh, but... Uh, well, this past year, we should say. You can't say this year because nothing's come out this year yet. <laughs> that no. uh, Well, a couple games have come up this year that's popped up on my radar. Um, but... Uh, I can't wait for Resident Evil 2 this month. Yeah. I got, right? the, I got the demo downloaded. I'll probably play it today or tomorrow. It's something I definitely am going to look into. I haven't yet, but... Because, uh, mm-hmm. I mean love resident evil 2 it, it was great and i'm hoping for a good remake of the third one because third one was until resident evil 4 came out was my favorite resident evil yeah is the third one code veronica x or is it just resident evil 3 it's just resident evil 3 code veronica is its own game oh okay code veronica x was the remake of the game on dream actually 
Where did Code Veronica X come from? Because there's a Code Veronica and then there's a Code Veronica X. And they're the same game, but one X is an HD remake of Code Veronica. Oh, okay. And I want to say Code Veronica was released on the Dreamcast and Code Veronica X was later released on GameCube with more content or whatever. You mean the PS2? GameCube 2. It was all released on all the systems. Oh, okay. But they Code just Veronica. didn't update it the way they did. Um, Code Veronica. Game. I know Code Veronica was released on the game. At least I think Code Veronica was released on the GameCube. But the original game came from Dreamcast because we had it on yeah. Dreamcast. And I mean, it was one of the first yeah. big survival horror games that I played that, you know, was actually looking good. It wasn't a pixelated mess like 3 and stuff was. Yeah. Until, of course, 4 came out and redefined the entire Resident Evil franchise. Yeah. It's a... It was an upgrade to a franchise that risked everything and paid off. It's just similar to the way God awarded. Right. Because that very much... It completely changes all those games. They're really brutal hack-and-slash games. And while this is still an action game... Right. You can kind of play it hack and slashy. It's much more... It's slowed down. It's much more intimate. It's much more methodical. Yeah, and yeah. it's story-driven rather than me Kratos, me smash and hate everything. God. Yeah, which is always fun, though, right? I... Yeah, no, I love the God of War uh, series. Um, the only... I didn't play the third game right. all the way through, but those games are fucking amazing and they're amazing for what they are. And then this game just took that and fucking switched it onto its head and made it amazing. Right. The way Resident Evil 4 did. I, a charger. I feel the same way about those games. That's my favorite Resident Evil game. Um, and. Oh, yay. That's what I feel about. I got to work. <laughs> uh, Resident Evil five, seven, Seven. seven was five was seven, trash. That was seven was last year, I think, too. But that's similar, you know, changing up a series, right? And I think they did well with it. I I still need to, to get um, there's a witch right there in front of that truck. Um, okay. I still need to get, get that and uh, and play it because it does look phenomenal. It's it's unfortunate that I think they I it doesn't feel like they put the amount of effort and time into it that Capcom normally does with the Resident Evil series. Mm -hmm. And I say that because they went back to making it claustrophobic and you're in mansion style places. And eventually you kind of go outside too, but for the most part, it's an open, uh, it's, it. a, it's a mansion. Stop it's it. open, but enclosed. Um, this is why so I told you not to do it. <laughs> Sorry. To what? Fucking Lewis started healing me, and as soon as he started healing me, we got jumped by a hunter. Well, I got jumped by a hunter. Best day I ever. <laughs> I got jumped by Hitler, man. That's not cool. Yeah, uh, the thing, the the problem with Resident Evil Seven is that there's other than the bosses, um, enemy variety is almost non-existent. Right. They're all kind of just these big, like leech monsters. Which is really disappointing. Since, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you just you fight mostly zombies in Resident Evil, but they can be, you know, the, the, a lot of difference, you know, a lot of variation to them. And then the stuff in Resident Evil Four where you got the Los Plagas crap. I don't know. It's it's just disappointing that instead of having something interesting like that, they went down to one type of enemy basically. And that's all you run into over and over I mean, again. Yeah, which is definitely going to get old real quick. Yeah. Granted, I mean, the boss fights are amazing, um, and they're they're weird. They're they're different in the fact that it's you don't feel like you're. Oh, I have to hit this one point on this boss over and over again. Usually, and there's there's a couple where it's like that, but for the most part, it's like, oh my god, please don't kill me, and you're trying to like just run away. <laughs> But I don't know. That game was still awesome. Yeah, I'm looking forward to eventually playing it. Yeah. You know, eventually. Yeah. One day. One day I, I will it. play. I think it was on sale, and I was like, fuck it. Uh, actually, I know what made me. I watched a Let's Play. 
and was like, okay, that actually looks great. It's on sale. I picked it up. The um, I think I got the content, the the DLC for free. Like it was part of a pack. Right, right. Which was awesome. Cause, uh, Always nice. They released one of the things for free anyway. Right. Which was actually really good too. The um the, the one where you play a dude who punches zombies to death or the leech things to death. <laughs> fucking awesome because he's a badass. It's basically brick, but for Resident Evil. Yeah, pretty much. And then he gets um fucking like a super punch like uh fucking NES controller thing. And it makes him punch things harder and it's fucking awesome. That's <laughs> fucking pretty, uh... punches alligators and shit. <laughs> the power glove. He gets a power glove essentially. He gets a power glove. Yep. And are you playing with super power? Yeah. Gets a power glove and punches shit harder and it's awesome. Oh, the power glove. Brilliant. One of the most misguided. Eh, Nintendo. Crazy. Yeah. They're way ahead I of their miss time. that Nintendo, man. The I, ones who would I, take I the chances like that. I, I like it when they do stuff right, like with the Switch. The power glove wasn't exactly uh, <laughs> successful. It wasn't, but it was cool. Good. It was unique. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's that's true. A lot of yeah. the stuff they do is unique, but, but not in the like not in the same. This is a complete and utter failure way as something like the Wii U. <laughs> yeah, that 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 the Wii U was unique, but if, but it, I I wouldn't look at the Wii U and go, oh man, that was cool. But I can look at the power glove. You know what? I kind of want one of those, even if it's stupid, even if it's bad. I didn't want a Wii U. No, I still, I still kind of want a power glove. Yeah, exactly. You know, like that's that's the thing. Like, there's a desire to actually own it there. Yeah, it's but it's not out of uh, like if it had been su- it, successful, maybe I would want it. Um, it looks cool ish. I don't know. Oh, did you get it's puked not, on? It's not a positive. Yeah, for sure. Not necessarily, anyway. I got vomited on. Yeah. I was trying to get to the, watch the generator. Oh, fuck. I got a it's jockey. There we go. <laughs> I'm interested to see what the next thing Nintendo comes up with for the Switch is. Mm-hmm. I really do miss the... F- I-, I wish they would have kept the same um, level of tracking capability as the Wii U and the Wii had. I right. still I don't mind the Joy-Con. I think the Joy-Con's cool. Uh they the amount of technology they have in the Joy-Con's awesome, but I, I wish I, I wish they'd come out with a sensor bar or something like that. Right. So you have some really interesting stuff. Something where we can tell exactly what is where exactly. yeah yeah there's a, there's a tank coming behind you. i know i was hoping it would come in the range of the uh gun. the the guns the turret the mount but it did not not so lucky did not nope that's what i was hoping oh. though you shooting it would lure it through that door and then i could just blast it with this thing oh the truck's okay. down get in the van down by the river. <laughs> That's oh, Jake's fate to live in a van down by the river. Yeah. Uh, Donkey's video, actually, he, his year end video had me really thinking I want to play. Uh, maybe it was his year end video. One of the videos he did, he mentions um, Donkey Kong, the Donkey Kong game that came out on. Yeah, that was his best of 2018. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, I, I really for, I forgot. That that was re-released, and I do want to play that game. It looks fun as fuck. I mean, yeah, it does. Um, I I don't know that I care that much about it because even though I do love Donkey Kong, I I just uh, I can't justify dropping that money right now. I, well, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it, it money it, money aside, I really want to play that game. Yeah. Um, there's not like if I was if I didn't have the money, there's not a lot coming up that I would put the money out for because i don't you know 
I have the money, I'm not going to get shit. Uh, there's like a few games like Smash Brothers is something where I will make sure. Yeah, I've yeah, no, I, I, that, that money, funding. that money was put to the side. I cleared data on my SD card and, uh, yeah. I, I totally went and, so yeah, no, I'm buying that. And of course it was a, it was a, it was a preload. It wasn't even like a launch day. Like, yeah, I gotta have this. Well, no, I'm going to have this before it's available. It was already ready to go. Oh yeah. <laughs> the bad thing is that night, the night it released and it was downloaded and it was ready to go. I had to work. So I didn't even get to play yeah. it. <laughs> I got. I only got to play it a couple hours because it didn't release right on time. Yeah. It didn't unlock. Which is always <laughs> a little bit annoying, but it happens from time to time, right? So. Not but, too surprising. Yeah, no, but I yeah no that that I loved that. Um, there is a new game, um, a Metroidvania that that just released not too long ago, and I'm probably gonna pick it up as uh, mm-hmm. it's called Momodora, I believe, and uh, it's like a, a pixel art style um just metroidvania which of course metroidvania was the genre that was inspired by the uh, game castlevania symphony of the night it it added yeah. it basically took the castlevania formula and just fused it with the metroid formula and it Where worked you go through this big open area and find power-ups and come and come back and explore other areas yeah, yeah keep exploring fight bosses and, um, I mean, somebody, I, I don't remember where I, I first saw it, but it was brought to my attention on, um, on my Google Discover feed, I want to say, maybe? I don't know. And it, it inspired me to look it up on the Switch, and I was watching this gameplay video on the Switch, and then I was later watching a YouTube video, and it's like, oh, this looks incredible. I gotta have this. Because, I, like I said, I love the Metroidvania genre. It is probably my favorite genre. And... I love like pixel art style stuff when it's done really well. And it, it is, this is done really well. It's smooth animation and it's pretty and it's pixely. And it's like, yeah, that's cool. So I'm probably going to pick that up, but I think that was released this year, not last year. So, mm-hmm. but speaking of this year, there are game releases that I'm sure people are looking forward to. Yeah, um, that, I, I, I can't say that, this year doesn't have much I'm looking forward to. There's yeah. a few. Um, I'm trying to remember the. There's another Metroidvania coming out. Mm-hmm. It's not Bloodstained. No, but Bloodstained is a game I do want. I do want to play. Play yeah. that. I very much would like to play that. Because you know that that's Ega. That's the guy that invented the Metroidvania genre. Yeah. If the game isn't good from him, there is no hope left. Yeah, and he's like legitimately the game who released it, not like fucking Mighty Number no. Nine. They got an accountant who worked uh, at fucking Capcom. Oh, that was so disappointing. But speaking of Mighty Number no. Nine and stuff like that, like I do have the Mega Man X uh, collection one the volume one which has x one through four on it and those games are as nice and as fun and as good as i remember them being so we got that going for us yeah oh yeah i still haven't picked it up and it's wrong that i haven't but i just keep putting off buying that collection right i mean it kind of is annoying that it comes in two uh two volumes but at the same time mm-hmm. when you get into x2 or x5 6 7 and 8 those are much much larger games so i kind of understand you know save you some money and stuff yeah <clears throat> but yeah no i was sitting there playing x and, and i'm gonna play through them in, in like order um, i'm at the end of x and uh, you get to sickness fortress and you know those platforms that you got to jump across to get into the fortress mm-hmm. uh those are the most annoying freaking things I think I've ever <laughs> encountered ever. Because, <laughs> um, like, they move back and forth. you got to jump, and there's just a fucking pit below you. And the Joy-Cons aren't great for the kind of platforming these this game requires. So yeah. I'll go to press a button. The button won't fucking respond the way it should or won't respond immediately. Because there's so much shit packed into these Joy-Cons that responding right away to precision platforming, they're not good at it. And yeah. I, I just, I, and I fall or 
the, the dash doesn't activate and I go to jump and I just jump this wimpy jump where I just go straight down a hole. It's like, come on, man. What is what is this? Oh, that would just drive me fucking crazy. Yeah, no, it, it did. And admittedly, I've broken one of my Joy-Cons already. So that's <laughs> that's great. Because I'm just sitting there like, no, why are you no do thing? And it's just, it's really frustrating. If I push that's... the dash key, I expect Mega Man to dash. I don't expect yeah. him to stand there like a jackass. It's part of the reason why I didn't get them yet is I know, and I I only need the first collection. I didn't play the later X games, and I don't really care. Right. Um, but I just the fucking rage that those games would induce. I'm like, uh, I don't I don't really want to throw my switch across the fucking room or something. <laughs> <laughs> it'll happen. I promise you, it'll happen if you play the game. Because I've God already done it. Almost already made me uh, bust a PS4 controller, or damn near. I, I've already thrown my switch across the room. It yeah. survived. Well, that was awesome. <laughs> I just had a charger straight kill me because it knocked me into an out of bounds area. Oh, Jesus. Right right off the back of that roof there that you're standing on. <laughs> and he just fell to his death, I hope. No, he, he came back. <laughs> oh, well, he might have just died now, but yeah, I'm not paying attention. Uh, I know I for, I had completely almost forgotten that we're getting um, a new Doom Doom Eternal. Oh yeah, yeah. Year. I'm definitely looking forward to Doom Eternal. So fucking excited for Doom Eternal. I'm not uh, looking forward to anything else from Bethesda, but I'm definitely looking forward to Doom Eternal. I am looking forward to Rage Two. I uh, never I never got into the first one. I think I have the first one, but I never really got into it. Honestly, it, I don't think they're going to be marketing this game on any nostalgia for Rage because it's pretty bad. Right. It's not It's not really an entertaining game whatsoever. Oh, mm. now you're way up there. Yay. Oh, and you got hit by a smoker. Yeah. Um, it's it's bad. It's uh, it, it was okay, but it was like six hours long for a first-person shooter, four hours long or something. It was ridiculously short. It right. ends on a really terrible cliffhanger that it didn't deserve. So I, it was I can't like, even. Oh, a shotgun. I'll take that. It was like, I don't. Why would you guys do this? Uh, the, the, what they did right. I mean, the gunplay was cool. The world was interesting. I mean, it um, looks it looks good, right? It, yeah. it does look good. I will give it that. Cause, I mean. I know I've played at least a little bit of it somewhere. I'm not sure where. Yeah. I can't remember, but I know I've played at least a little bit of it. And it does it's, look... It looks the part. It just isn't fun from what I understand. Yeah, it's... I mean, it's fun, yes, but it's not It's not a, worth the money. <laughs> it's not worth 20 <laughs> bucks at this point? Because that's all it costs. Uh, maybe 20 bucks. I'd, I'd, I'd drop 20 bucks on it. It's just it's just short, and it came out in a time when there were so many first-person shooters. I think I got it through Gamefly, actually. Right. And that's how I played it. And we're talking four, five, six months after the game came out, and I was like, oh, okay. That was, was alright. If I, mean, I have it. was it. definitely well-polished and everything. It was just... I mean, it's, I... it's, it's no wonder everyone overlooked it. If I have it, and I, I like I said, I can't even be sure if I do, but I, if I have it, it's 100% something I got uh, on a Steam sale for really dirt cheap, or yeah. I got it in like a bundle of some kind. Yeah, um, I, but I know I've, I've at least played a little bit of it, because it's set in the desert, right? Yeah, it's, it's post-apocalyptic um, desert. Like, it's honestly, what it really reminds me of is... Uh, almost Borderlands esque, right? Um, it's that sort of your. Uh, I can't remember if you're on a random planet or if you're on Earth. Or what? But like you ride around in fucking random vehicles and stuff, and everything's kind of like half half dashed together, and it's very Borderlands like. And the sequel looks like that's sort of what they were going for, right? Like the super fast play, fast paced, and everything, right? Um, that. I don't know. It just looks like an awesome shooter. And it's being done by... It, it isn't the uh, primary. It's uh, a different studio under Bethesda, Zenimax, whatever. God damn it. Um, I can't remember the name of this, 
the studio exactly, but I know id is working with them. Right. And you can tell. Like when you watch gameplay of it, it's like, oh no, it it this is definitely inspired by or like produced by id. It's right. hundred percent it, it sort of thing. I mean that's the only reason why I'm at this point Bethesda has lost any sort of like yeah. goodwill they have, and the only reason why I have any faith left in them is not because of, but because of it, because they own it, and it's going to yeah. produce. I know it's going to produce something good, and if Bethesda's smart, they'll let it just do it. It's what I was just gonna say is that unlike EA, where they decide to take a company like Visceral and tell them, "Hey, that's great, you make these great um, action games. Why don't you make this? Do this game." Well, we don't do that game. Well, you're going to make this game for us. And yeah, we it's don't like, care if it's not your style. You're going to make it anyway. Yeah. And it just. And then they close the studio when inevitably they make a bad fucking game because that's not their kind of game that they make. They don't have the. They don't have fucking, the expertise, the experience, yeah. and all that. Like, that's not their. That's not their. Like you said, that's not what they do. It's not their style. It's, it's great that at least. Zenimax and Bethesda let it be it. Let them yeah. do their thing. That being said, uh, they're still just really frustrating. Um, a similar vein, I was surprised to hear that, and this specifically comes from, uh, I think it was the Podquisition I was listening to. Um, somebody was talking about uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey which I've had no faith in that series since like, for a long time. Like Black Flag was the last one I enjoyed. Um, and I heard that Origins was really good, but I never, I didn't play it. Right. Um, Odyssey, I was interested in until it comes out and you find out that they've fucking put in all this fucking massive amounts of microtransactions. And the shit they did with making it a grind fest so that they could sell you fucking EXP boosters and bullshit. And just the amount of crap that game came with to monetize it just completely turned me off. I wasn't going to try it at all. They were talking about on the podcast that they actually have been updating that game. Yeah. And le- for once, legitimately listening to their user base. Right. So they've completely reworked the XP system and the XP gains so that it's faster and better. Right. Um, They're constantly adding and tweaking things that the community is requesting. Um, Like they've legitimately are working on making that game a better game and not in the sort of way we talked about earlier with the fucking uh, battlefront two, where they fucked their game or uh, Shadows of War or Shadows of War, where they fucked their game in development, like when they first developed it, so that they had to change things. Yeah, but they're like legitimately making the game better and adding new content and things. Um, not like full DLCs, but new stuff, new weapons and things for you know the things the fans like. One thing that really sounded awesome to me is that they have a transmutation system now. So if you get weapons and armor that you really like the look of, yeah, um, transmogrification, trans, yeah, that, that, uh, you can get, you know, if you get something better, you can make your old or your new stuff look like the old gear, right. which is pretty fucking awesome. That's in Diablo three too. Yeah, yeah, I've totally that, taken advantage of that in Diablo three. So yeah, yeah, I fucking love that system. I love running around as my fucking level uh, seventy whatever monk. But all of my gear looks like the level one gear, so I look like uh, a like a, a fucking monk of poverty or whatever. Right. But then you're just <laughs> busting out I'm, moves and bashing, just beating the shit out of yeah, everything. Yeah, even though I've got all legendary gear and shit. <laughs> um, that was one of my favorite things, like running through as a demon hunter, because that's what I first played as, and uh, just looking like Ganondorf with a bow. <laughs> yeah. Oh god! Oh god, hunter! I killed it. Oh man! Right, I'm kind of tired too. I I was I was actually debating like, do I really want to do this? But I'm like, <laughs> yes, yes, I do. Yeah, let's do. Oh this. shit! There's a witch on the stairs. I, I walked down go. the stairs and she was right there. All right, well you're gonna have to kill her then. She's I'm gonna have to kill her. Pissed. 
And I killed yeah, her. Did. Um, uh, I don't know. This this year, like... Yeah, this upcoming year, minutes. there's nothing I'm, I'm thinking of that I really want that badly. Like, at least nothing, not in a way of, like, AAA titles that have been announced. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess what I want to say I want to look forward to is, is maybe less microtransactions in my AAA titles. I really, less microtransactions, less loot, fucking great bullshit. Yeah. I really hope they get that shit together. Like, it, it's unsustainable model. It really, really yeah. is. Honestly, um, on the same thing, but I am so fucking sick of live service games. Yeah. Like, games as a service? I don't. Yes. Yeah. Anthem can go suck a cock. I have no desire to play that shit. Like, oh, maybe yeah. it'll surprise I, me and end up being good. Um, I forgot about oh, that. Oh, I almost forgot. This is a huge, major fucking thing that. Uh, oh, I backed got, myself right into a corner and I'm being beat on by out. a tank. Oops. Great. I set down explosive ammo, so I'll come and shoot the tank with it. Yeah. But, um, speaking of live services, um, Bungie has separated from Activision Blizzard. Yeah, I saw that. And it seems like Activision Blizzard <laughs> might be in a little bit of fucking trouble right now. Uh, they're because under investigation they're... for fraud. Yeah. Yeah. And they're doing uh, a lot of things that businesses do when they are uh, preparing for some tough years, mm -hmm. uh, money-wise. They offered a huge amount of I don't remember what their specific job titles were, but they offered a bunch of people um, a huge buyout, essentially, to, uh, like, retire or quit. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Severance packages? Se yeah. Um, they offered, or they they had two financial officers, um, head finance, like, you know, up there, top, tip-top people, right. have resigned and gotten work with other companies like uh, there's a lot of shit going on in that company that's like oh y'all done fucked up didn't you but i hit the didn't car alarm and listen to anybody your uh whole fucking oh don't you all have cell phones bullshit is you know that's not gonna fucking fly is it no no it's that's, not I'm sure the fact that the regulations that are i i think it's only a matter of time before the united states classifies um Luke Crates is gambling. It's it, it's going to be a Donald Trump tweet away from that becoming an issue. Yeah, right. Essentially, I some mean, somebody that actually he gives a shit about it. The first time they talk about it on Fox News, uh, it's going to be fucking out there, and nobody's going to care to say anything against it. Yeah, for sure. Because why would they? It'd be like one thing that fucking they can uh, agree with him on. Like, oh, video games? We don't give a shit about video games. Yeah, no, we Donald don't. Trump's like, fuck it. These go away. Yep. They're gambling. Fox News said so. That's all it and takes. It's, that's going to be a huge fucking problem for a huge number of companies. Yep. And I don't know. I think I think that on top of whatever bad decisions they made that have gotten them under investigation, um, Blizzard Activision. Couldn't have happened to a better company. <laughs> I mean, EA. It could have happened to EA, but yeah, no, I, I agree. Yeah, it, 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 it's it's gonna well. it's gonna totally just bite them so very hard. Oh, yeah. And so honestly, I'm actually, yeah, I'm kind of sitting here watching, like, ooh, let's see what's about to happen. It's, it's that it, it, the Schadenfreude in it is gonna be really funny. Um, same thing with whatever the fuck is going on with uh, the head of Gearbox right now. Oh, Randy Pitchford <laughs> leaving porn Randy and. Pitchford? Leaving with porn his, uh, and shit around. Drive and his his uh magic magic lessons. <laughs> oh, what what is what is that? What like what is he what was he trying really? What is wrong I, with you, dude? I, I even watched that interview a few days ago when I first heard about these like the the whole accusations and all this stuff. Right. And was like, this all can't be real, can it? This has got to be like, like someone's, this is a marketing stunt, right? Like, yeah, I was thinking, okay, no, somebody's just out to get them. And I mean, there's uh, apparently tons and tons of accusations that some of them are that outlandish that it might just be people out to try and get them. But the, the lawsuit that's against them, I mean, it's real. 
Yeah, it's there. Against him specific. So we'll see. I don't know. It's just um, it's just outrageous. Whole, like the things crazy. that are, yeah. The one good thing that's not you know bad for somebody you know and good because we watch and, and laughing at their pain. Yeah. Um, Bungie being a solo company again, uh, well for the first time, and well not beholden they, to someone like exactly. Activision. Yeah, because I mean Microsoft let them do a lot of decent stuff, so. I, I don't think Microsoft, I think at the most, Microsoft probably wanted to force them into making more Halo games. Right. And maybe that's why Bungie decided to part with them. But, you know, we'll never know. Right. Uh, or at least, you know, I don't think they're going to tell us. But, you know Activision had fingers in Destiny. Oh, for sure. And I mean, dude, you can, you can see it. Things. Yeah, you can yeah. see it just in design decisions that were made with Destiny. Yeah, the with the monetization that they put into the that game. Hey, I got explosive uh, ammo. Yeah, I saw that. Put it. Should go grab a different gun, but whatever. Um, I can't. I can't wait. I'm hoping that this is a turning Ooh, point. Chainsaw. I might actually. I'm now actually considering playing Destiny. Yeah. Which no, I mean, I was I, not whatsoever. I mean, I got it like, for it, free as part of a humble bundle, so I'm probably yeah. going to give it a shot now that you know when when they start updating it and removing it and i don't know who retains rights to that because right now it's on the blizzard launcher so what are they going to do with it are they going to move it to steam are they gonna you know that i don't know i know it's it, it is um bungie bungie has full control over it right so it's gonna be uh it's fully their property mm-hmm. so you know who knows what changes they're going to make or have I, already started making. I mean, if uh, they sit there and, and they make it more like a, I mean, it, it very much feels like borderlands esque, at least it yeah. should. Um, so if they make it less MMO and less grindy and more borderlandsy, I'm like, I'm totally down for playing it yeah. because it's a very good looking game and it looks like yeah, it's very, I mean, I mean, and I've got a lot of good reviews from friends of mine that I trust saying, Oh yeah, the game is great. You yeah, know. it's the grindiness that I and I don't I don't like a game that I feel like I have to keep playing and experiencing or I'm not it, it like for, it's not going to be good. I have yeah. to play it so long before I get to the good, you know, the good parts, specifically yeah. the MMO style yeah. of game. So I'm I'm hoping that it's you know, not like that. <laughs> I don't want to start that game and be like, "Oh, well, I'm level 1 and I need to play 9,000 hours before I will be uh, able to have I'm gonna fun kill with the, it or whatever. I'm going to shoot the witch. Right, I'm nowhere near you guys. Let me catch up. Man, we killed her. Nice. She did. She did. I don't know. I, it's just, it's, I, I thought that was interesting. I was really happy to see that news. Oh, for Bungie, sure. Bungie for a long time was my favorite video game company. And I mean, because I was a huge fan of Halo. Right. And even though they made a lot of missteps with Halo or what for things that I didn't like about it. Right. Um, the best experiences from Halo were still theirs. Like they created, they created um, essentially they created one of the best online multiplayers with Halo 2 right. at the time. Um Halo 3 continuing being fucking awesome. Yeah, and I mean, I, I, I was never a Halo fan, but I'm definitely, I definitely yeah. could never take away what significance Halo holds in just, in video, not just like first person shooters, not just online experiences, but games in general. And they definitely created something amazing with Halo. They definitely created something very special. Yeah. And it's, it was like, before that, the only, you had, um, Old nice 64 right as the end all be all example of this is you know consoles can have first person shooters that are fun yep and then halo came around and was like no really they can compete and they totally did yeah halo sold it sold the xbox to me it kept me playing halo was the game that i was at uh out waiting in line at midnight at gamestop to buy every year or every uh new release 
um, back when actually you had to, you know, pre-ordering games and being there for the midnight release was not only fun and, you know, a community thing, uh, they actually did run out of copies of the fucking game back then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was, running out was a very, very... It was a real possibility. If you yeah. came to pick up Halo, uh, Halo 2 the next day, there's a very good chance you weren't getting a copy unless you had it pre-ordered. Yep. I remember that too. You know, that reminds me, you know, we were talking about Assassin's Creed earlier. I pre-ordered Assassin's Creed 3 and I regretted it. Yeah. Oh Gosh. my God. That game. We, I, I, there was what, four or five of us that had picked it up that day. That yeah. First day? Yeah. And it was awful. Yeah. It was, it was a huge disappointment. I mean, one thing, and I wish I could have, I wish I would have kept it. Uh, the gift card that Walmart gave when you pre-ordered a game, like it, it was basically just a Walmart gift card with the amount loaded onto it, and uh, um, it had the Assassin's Creed symbol on it. So that was actually. Oh my god, I remember when they did that. Yeah, yeah those cards. Usually, those cards were pretty cool when we yeah. got them in a lot. Of... So I re I remember doing that, and I was like, oh dude, this is this is so cool. I want to keep this card, but unfortunately, part of the, I, I had to turn it in, and yeah. uh, I probably could have kept it because you know. I, I was in the department and I could have done whatever. Well, I wasn't in the department, but I knew the department manager. I know she would have let me kept it if I had to just ask and I keep this. So I'm pretty sure we just threw those away anyway. Uh, I don't know what we did with them. Yeah, but more than likely. Or sent them to corporate to be thrown away. Re recycled. Yeah. Because, I mean, I know we recycle our cards, which, but whatever. Yeah. Got to make gotta save the money. Got to save the money so we can live better. <laughs> but uh yeah no i i'm still so upset over that it's been years <laughs> i haven't played another assassin's creed game since and i'm still like yep. three was such a letdown because it was yeah. hyped up and it looked really cool and then i don't know it just didn't it didn't live up to it you know if you want it a good was... stealth game play Deus Ex machina or dishonored those are good get stealth games DS, oh, DSX, great series. Yeah. Like, um, I, I still I mean, have, I have one of the games, and I need to play it, but I don't remember, uh... Human, which is the first one? Human Revolution, I think? Yeah, maybe. Um, I don't remember. The second one, I, did I finish it? I don't even remember if I finished oh God. the one that oh came Oh, God, out. why are you guys all, why, third, why am I not game? shooting? Yeah. I don't know if I finished the third game. Um, it wasn't as good. Right. As is that the, the, is that the game. newest one? Yeah, the newer one wasn't quite as great. Newer, I think it came out like three years ago. Oh, okay. I don't but know. They, I, I admittedly have not been keeping track. Uh, they had a ton. Oh, that's the game that they're... Hell, I think we talked about it on the podcast. The pre-order system for that game was one of the... I, it was... One of the last I can remember, and one of the fucking worst. It was the thing where they said, hey, if we get this many pre-orders, you get this item in the game. If we get, you know, a thousand more pre-orders, or five, or, or like a hundred thousand more pre-orders. They basically did a uh, Kickstarter game. stretch goals for it? Yes, yeah. for the pre-orders. And the backlash was so fucking bad that they... Uh, after just a few weeks, they announced, ha okay, uh, we're just going to give everyone everything. Uh, please forgive us. Um, and then on top of it, still had a bunch of fucking microtransactions in the game where you could spend real money and you would spend real money on getting uh, in-game upgrades and things. Uh, they yeah. had to, again, it's another fucking game. They had to rebalance the game because the amount of money you got in game was so fucking low to push the fucking purchasing of the microtransactions of their currency so that people would buy their stupid fucking I mean it was what the fuck game industry and that's what three four years ago we... and we're talking about that kind of shit now yeah. and it's like they didn't learn it's like every it's like every game company because that's square yeah. Everybody's like, "Oh well, they they did it. It's because they did it a little wrong. We we know what to do this time." Uh, no, no, you don't, because you keep up. doing the same shit over and over again. Exactly. It's, it's like, like, no, you don't know what you're doing yet, and that's why it hasn't. Do you I know mean, the definition of insanity? There's a witch down there. Uh yeah, I see that. Oh, sorry, Lewis. I didn't mean to shoot you. 
You were just in my line of sight as I walked away from the witch. Far Cry 5 is a game that would be on my game of the year list. And I guess it's it it, it it's like the fifth spot. Um I didn't hate it. I just I was disappointed. I liked the game for a while. Whoops, I just kind of stood there while you guys were shooting the witch. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, in the way. <laughs> you were uh, in the way. It was, it was amazing. <laughs> the story was going so well, and it was just the ending of that game was so fucking bad. And it, it, the story got in the way of the game. Same way Assassin's Creed 3. Yeah. The story was terrible. And like a lot of the Assassin's Creed, I love Black Flag, but I fucking hate everything to do with modern shit. Yeah. In every Assassin's Creed game, up until I guess recently, they finally given up on that bullshit. I don't care about the Animus. I don't care about modern times. No, I just no. want to play as a fucking assassin and assassinate people. I don't that... want to follow them around listening to them. It's like, just fucking give me what I want. Let me be an assassin running around, free roaming, climbing shit. See, that's I'll what... even forgive. I'll forgive having to climb fucking towers to unlock more of the map. <laughs> that's what uh, I mean. Hey, that's what Zelda did that part. But <laughs> yeah, um... exactly. Like, and I and I forgive it. It's like it's frustrating, but hey, it's it's one way to. I mean, you um, know... <laughs> to do it. Yeah, uh, that that's why I say Dishonored is the better Assassin's game. I mean, you're you're avoiding guards, you're sneaking around, yeah. and you can go through and kill everybody if you want. But you know, you're you're avoiding guards, you're sneaking around, you're just killing people. They already have the intel. Now you're just there to kill people. Yeah, there was a lot of interesting stuff that that game did, especially with, um, like you could go and find out so much about your target, and then choose the way you wanted to kill them. Which is something that supposedly has been added in. It's it, it, it's they added it to Odyssey that a lot of fans are really happy about. That you know they brought back the assassinating part of Assassin's Creed instead wow. of either fucking uh, railroading you into oh you you need to go follow this guy around for six hours and listen to his conversations so that you can find out he's going to be where you're following him to any fucking way. It's the God. dumbest shit in the world. You know, but I, I, I gotta, I want to say something because it's funny. Yeah. Uh, just a few moments ago, my, my, my stupid brain, when you said Odyssey, my first yeah. thought was, why is Mario assassinating people? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, he's gone, he's gone evil. And it's like, wait a minute, no, it's stupid. Me. It's Go me. fuck yourself. Yeah, and then he just, he just, he stabs you in the face. But I uh, wish. Oh God, I wish a charger. I remember. Oh, that's not good. There's a tank, and you're caught by a charger. All right, Lewis saved me on the charger. I got to kill a couple of zombies around me. Save me from the tank. Uh, I, I, I'm stuck on a, a rail. I don't know. Jump stuck on something. Um. No, he's not. Oh, I thought he was. No, he was throwing a rock. Now, oh, he's, dead. now he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Holy shit. Uh. That would be funny though. All right. Doing Assassin's Creed. Wow. We have gone on for over an hour now. Yeah. Hey. We had a lot of shit to talk about. And we're constantly distracted by this game. I mean, I definitely am. <laughs> I keep getting jumped by, like, everything. Yeah. I s fucking still. Come on. I almost call them Steam. Valve. God damn it, together. Valve. Get your shit together. The number three should not scare you this much. Oh, God. Guys, help me! I'm being hit by a jockey who pulled me into the fire. Got it. <laughs> Can't help you with the fire, but uh, killed the monkey on your back. All right. So we hope you guys enjoyed that. In case you don't know, we're the Ungodly Geeks, and my name is Joe. Uh, I was Luke. And uh, we're going to keep killing zombies for a little while. Yay, <laughs> killing zombies! Uh, so... Man. Hope you guys enjoyed the, yeah. our rants and raves about video games and loot boxes and things we're all tired of hearing about, but won't go away. Oh, man. Yeah, all right. So, and you know, you want to hear more funny. from us? Oh, keep going, keep going. That's one thing we didn't mention. Yeah. Um, the worst phrase I think you could ever possibly hear from 
publishers and or video game developers or these fucking corporate assholes is when they they blame the whole outcry against microtransactions and loot boxes and all of that shit on entitled gamers. Yeah, really. Like that what? We're entitled because we don't want to be ripped the fuck off and sold inferior products. You should be honored we're ripping price. you off. Yeah. Like really? You fucking bastards. Fuck EA, fuck Bethesda, fuck all of these companies. Fuck Activision, fuck Ubisoft. Fuck Konami. Fuck Warner Brothers. And they're not even one of these huge <laughs> offenders. They're like, we're out of the game, motherfuckers. What fuck the fuck Capcom. We're making pachinko machines. <laughs> no, fuck Konami because they won't license their IP to companies that could do something with it. Yeah. Like, ugh. Go to, like, Cherry Games and say, here's the Castlevania IP. Make something nice. Yeah. You know, like, I wish, I wish God. they had an in-house, like, developer that they would just let let do that. But, I don't know, they'd probably oh, fucking man. fuck it up somehow. Oh, uh, yeah, you know they would. They're stupid as hell. I, met, I ran out of ammo halfway through that horde. <laughs> I just got inside and grabbed a cricket bat and started swinging. Oh. All right, guys, that was fun. Yay. Hope you enjoyed listening to us. Yeah, even though it's not optimal right now. Or watching us, because, uh, you know, you can also watch the video, because we're giving you something to actually watch that isn't just yeah. a background. You can see Why us play this that? game terribly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but once again, for the Ungodly Geeks, I was Joe. Yep, Luke. And you guys have a good day. See y'all later. Yay.